Hey yo, how's it going everyone? Entropy here today with another video. Today we will be doing a deck profile on another Setchwolf deck. Drum roll please. It will be Ethics Reverse. I'm sure the dramatic tension didn't really serve any role because you've probably already seen the thumbnail or the title or both um, or, or, or the list to our left. So I guess without further ado, let's go get straight into my build. Let's talk about it. And then as usual, we will get a fight or two to showcase some possible um, strategies and tactics in game. So if you have seen the day one playtesting stream, you will note that this list is slightly different than what we tested on day one, which is really normal, right? You're supposed to make changes based on what you what you see and how you play and, and generally how the meta um, shapes up to be. So first a big change would be playing the grade three searcher, Mirayo. Now this card is you know, your, your simple counter must one, put into soul, check top five, get a grade three to your hand. Um, and the reason why is because, well, originally on the stream, I said that it's okay. It's okay, you know, if you ride the other grade threes, of course, you don't have the explosive end game, but it's still decent. And playing it multiple games, playing like 10 games or 11 games, 12 games of this deck straight. And when you don't hit that ethics into ethics reverse, it feels really, really bad. And... In addition, I thought that Extreme would be an, a, a, you know, an okay first ride target. You know, if you miss your Ethics, you might as well go for your Extreme. But Extreme doesn't really work before Limit Break 4. And it's actually quite extremely mediocre. So that's just my thoughts on it. I know people have been building an Extreme based deck. I think that's a very different build. But for Ethics Reverse, you really want to prioritize getting the Ethics Reverse on a uh, Break Ride turn. Getting that 8 attack combo turn. And that's why the Grade 3 Searcher is actually quite important. Next up, we play four PGs. We're going to play the new one because it's A, it's a Beast Deity, B, it, because it synergizes better with Break Ride. We're going to be playing four of the Hilarity Destroyer. Now, I see someone's not playing this card, but this card is actually really great. On attack or when it boosts, if you're, um, if you're, and if it hits, if your Vanguard is a Beast Deity, you can filter. You can discard a card and draw a card. So... You will notice that sometimes having a lot of these great threes, you know, they're good in the end game, but not necessarily going to save you in the early or mid game. So having that filter is, is nice, quite nice. It's also really, really flexible. You can, if you're going second, you can play it as a first right target. If you're going um, first, you can even put it behind your Vanguard or your turn two, or put it on a column where you might restand and then you, you can start hitting some numbers and start filtering if you want. Um, we're going to play three Desert Gators. Now, this is just a 7 plus 3. Um, hits 10k numbers. Early game aggression comes into play sometimes. Um, and definitely, I've tested more flexible than the max speed. Max speed is nice in a very niche way to restand some columns or, or do some shenanigans. But max speed, decent card. Much better in an extreme build than a reverse build. And lastly, we have two energy chargers. Um, I, I've seen some builds playing one. I've tried playing one myself. I think two is still nice. Uh, of course, you don't want too many Beast Deities because your grade three skills do require you to discard Beast Deity uh, name specifically. But for the lock requirement, it doesn't specifically say lock a uh, Beast Deity. So having an, an energy charger on board, you Soul Blast 2, you draw a card. Hopefully you draw into a Beast Deity or something else that's useful. You still have a 5k body to boost with or, or hit numbers with. And when you have your lock turn, you can still lock the energy charger and the plays will still happen. For the grade 2s, we have Brainy Papio. I talked bad stuff about Brainy Papio in the stream. And I know sometimes a lot of people think that it's cloggy, like you don't really use it a lot outside of that turn 2 play. But when that turn 2 play pops off, it pops off hard. Um, in addition, when you're missing your pieces, when you're missing your Wombo combo, Brainy Papio still lends itself to actually help you hit multi-attacks. Um, so it's still actually alright and not bad. We play 3 Hatred Chaos, 9 plus 3. You can play 4 of this as well. I think this card is great. Um, just as a restand target, at least it's 12k so it can swing. And it can attack into 11k plus uh, Vanguard's 12k minus less than 12k vanguards by itself and mostly it's 11k right so that's nice we have four golden anglet and i play four but you can also switch around this this count with your hatred chaos um, i like four because on restand it gets plus four so it hits 13 with boosters you and and when you use your wombo combo turn and you restand like twice 
that means you're hitting for 9 and then 13 and then 17. So you can actually hit the stage of, um, you know, 16 plus. So it's nice like that. It's nice like that. Well, while the 12K is passive, only 12K. And lastly, we play two street bouncer. Now, I've tested a variety of stuff. I've tried Kirada, if you've seen DF's uh, list. I've tried Transriser, which I found all right. Uh, but Street Bouncer. Street Bouncer is pretty, pretty good. I think it's probably better than the others. Street Bouncer means that you, when you are not comfortable extending your plays on turn two, you can use Street Bouncer to at least tap the starter and Street Bouncer and draw one. You can then still use the starter to search for a grade three, which is really, really nice. In addition, well, it is... Um, it is adding it to your hand, like it's not at free plus like a transriser. Transriser forces it to be called onto the board. And additionally, if it's not a grade two or less, it's shuffled back to the deck, right? We are actually okay adding grade threes to our hand. Remember, we want our combo pieces. So transriser might not be the best fit. I think street bouncer is definitely better. And if you don't find yourself using your brainy papios um, that often, then maybe you can try out the kiradas. I think another... Um, Another replacement could definitely be the 10k. The 10k is solid. The 10k hits numbers. The 10k can be restanded by Max uh, by uh, by Brady Papio. The 10k can be restanded by Extreme. But generally speaking, Street Bouncer provides more value in the early game, and I think that it's just more important to to draw pieces rather than focus on the uh, the really rare circumstance where you're just restanding a 10k um, more than more than not. We play four Ethics Reverse because this card is is the, the heart of the deck. Um, Limit Break 4 comes to lock one Rearguard and discard two Beast Deities to get the following ability until the end of turn. At the end of the battle, this unit attacked, stand this unit and draw two cards. So this card is, is a Restander. Horse, minusing one in terms of your board, so you can't really use that unit. And discarding two is quite hefty because Novas aren't really known for their card advantage. Um, but when everything works out, especially it's syn great synergy with the break ride, it's pretty, pretty amazing. I'm sure if you're watching this, you already know to expect that. In addition, it got a really spicy buff. When you drive check a grade 3 or greater beast steady, it gets plus 5 until end of turn. Now, this isn't really, you know, that, that the end, end, end all be all, um, especially on your break ride turn when you're already hitting for 23. Um, but if you miss the ethics, well, hitting that extra 5k number isn't too bad. In addition, you have other grade threes that ask for B steady, um, B steadies anyway. So playing more B steadies is always is always nice. Um, and it's a cross right, so it's a thirteen k base. Um, we play one extreme. So this one instead of asking for grade three or greater B steady, this asks for grade two uh, or less B steady. So in a B steady build, maybe you want more pure B steadies in your grade one, grade two lineup. Um, but since we're only playing this as a one-off, it's going to be rarely come into play. And we're only playing four out of like 26 of our grade two or less um, units anyway. So that's actually not too extreme, if I may. Um, and then if you drive check a grade two or less B CD, you can send one of your rear guards. And if you do, uh, your rear guards, uh, and if you don't stand anything, that's a typo, then your rear guard gets plus five instead. In addition, on boost, it gets plus three until the end of battle. So this card works better as a standalone. It kind of is kind of intuitive with the break ride, honestly. Um, unless you really want that extra stage uh, power, I think that's a, definitely a buff. Um, and it's nice because it actually has more synergy. But still, overall, reverse still has the better synergy and has much more endgame potential than um, extreme does. Um, Lastly, Ethics Buster, we're going to flex that rank reward one. Uh, when rolled upon, your Vanguard gets plus 10, and the following ability, when this unit attacks, stand all your front row rear guards. Um, and in addition, when boosted, gets plus 3. So the combo is you you break ride, reverse onto Ethics, you get to restand. So your break ride skill of restanding your rear guards also procs, and it procs twice, right? So you go left, right, le uh, Vanguard, restanding rear guards, left, right, Vanguard, restanding reguards, and then left and then right, and and that adds up to eight attacks, which is pretty pretty good, um, if I may if I may say myself. And lastly, for our four heal slots, we have Yamatano Drake. Uh, Yamatano Drake is a pretty. It's basically a grade three golden anglet. When this unit stands during your battle phase, get plus four k. 
So on first attack, it's a 10k, second attack, it's 14, and the third attack, it hits 18. So it hits similar stages as um, Golden Anglet, and it's nice. If you have a booster, it hits 23 on the last hit, um, and, and it's it's just really good as a rearguard um, option during your Ethics Reverse Break right turn. So I guess that is basically it for the deck overview. Let's just jump straight into a few games and see how this deck performs. So I definitely think that I definitely think that this deck is is quite nice. It's really refreshing to play. Um, I do enjoy the combo combo game. Um, this deck leverages itself. It, it does pretty good because it does have some early game potential. If it if everything you know if the stars align, you can still do a lot of heavy damage early game. Um, but honestly, for from my experience, it's it's better to conserve your pieces. Uh, and moving it, moving them into the end game, so you can ensure your your wombo combo turn. In terms of matchups, I think this deck performs quite well against um, some of the more popular decks. Um, but you know, like against Link Joker, definitely it, it's 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 pretty bad. Here we are really comfortable with this hand. I don't know if we want to keep the ethics reverse. I think we're going to be uh, a, a little bit greedy and keep it here, uh, so we don't need to use a great researcher. And um, yeah, I think this is a this is a nice way to start the video since at least I guarantee myself that I will be able to showcase the deck. This is again going to be a fight against um, the original Shadows build. We're gonna keep the Energy Charger, and we're just gonna ride the Desert Gator, um, putting it behind the Vanguard or on the corner um, doesn't really make that big of a difference. Personally, I think putting it in the corner is is is, is probably better, um, but. Uh, especially when you have two of your grade twos ready to play, if you have Brainy Papio and another grade two, um, provided you have another booster. I think a lot of the early game combos requires a little bit too much investment, which is why I don't really like cards like uh, Max Speed because they seem like better, better, uh, better in the early game. In in this build, in Extreme, obviously you're trying to reset everything. Um, here, our opponent is kind of overextending and uh, trying to. Hit a trigger to maintain uh, to to extend their lead from one to zero to two to zero. I don't really recommend that unless you have a lot of grade ones. Here we only have one grade two option. Ideally, your right option is Brainy Papio, and Brainy Papio lets you restand your rear guard, right? So you can punish your opponent if they play aggressively like this. Here, there's no reason to really call it, uh, to call it the Energy Charger. You can consider calling out the Desert Gator, but we don't have a lot of resources in our hand, right? So maybe we might as well save it for later. Just go face once, and um, hitting a draw trigger is really nice here. So our, po our opponent's probably just going to be playing a pure PBD PBO build, um, which is fine to me. I still think it's it's decent. Definitely not Revenger level now. Revenger is a whole new power level. Um, after all, it is like more than five, six sets um, since the release of PBD PBO. But still, um, it, it, it holds a, um, a really big part of my Vanguard Zero experience, and I definitely do, 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 do play this deck um, even to this day. Curse Lancer, still, we hit that heal trigger, let's go! And one of the things about this deck is, you can go from 3 to 6, which is pretty big, and um, definitely one of the, the big selling points of this, this deck. Here, I'm considering where to put the Energy Charger. Generally, I put it behind the Vanguard. Um, and it's generally going to be the lock target, but we already have the Morio Mirayo um, as the lock target if we want to. Maybe we can extend it to this, but then we're clogging our Grade 1, Grade 0 booster space. So, maybe it's just better to put it behind the Vanguard. We're going to Soul Blast 2, draw 1, and then see what we draw into, and then, and then consider our next play. Street Bouncer is actually not bad. Let's Street Bouncer. Street Bouncer, well the booster is pretty useless, right? Energy Charger, no, not that great, um, but all right nonetheless. We're gonna, do we want to extend? All right, let's play like this. So we have a 10 to 9, 11 to 10, and then a 16k column. 
opponent hasn't seen a single trigger yet, so that's a little bit worrying, but we hit another heal, so why worry when you can sack triggers? Don't quote me on that. That's like the up, like the, the, the that's exactly what not, not what I want you to get out of this video. Sack triggers easy game. No, 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 no. Uh, let's try to try. Let's let's try to use a little bit of little bit of brain. And uh, if luck if luck works out, then um, so be it, right? So yeah, like street bouncer, you're not gonna play it out to to attack. Generally speaking, but it, you, you can still use it as an AK body if you want. Um, having that tap and draw when you have. You know, some, some dead cards like Energy Charger and Mirayo, when the boosts generally don't really make a big difference, um, early game at least, it, it's really nice. Alright, up on his PBD, car. Brainy Papio. Yeah, and it, I mean, we couldn't showcase the Brainy Papio plays here. But if you're interested in the Brainy Papio, um, little, little tidbits of plays and how it carried me one game, you can check out the, um, the day one stream as well. Here, they're giving us the, the four damage, tempting me to, to definitely go break ride. Very, very tempting. Maybe we'll wait one more turn. Maybe we'll wait one more turn. Let's be patient. Let's play safe. Rather than sorry. Call it a booster. Bang. How many heals do we show? We have two left. Opponent still has a good amount of triggers left. Um, we're at four anyways, so swinging rear to Vanguard doesn't hurt. Even if we swing Vanguard last, we can still proc heals if we do check them. Which is really a-okay. Hatred Chaos. All right, Hilarity Destroyer. They hit a PBD, that's okay. They're gonna draw. The tempo swing of two heal triggers is just really, really big. Um, and unfortunately, our opponent isn't really hitting a lot of their triggers, so. No. And one thing that is great about Golden Anglet and Yamantano Drake over Hatred Chaos is you will gradually see quite a little bit more resurgence of the cross rank numbers with, you know, with um, a lot of reverse units, um, with, you know, extremes, with a zenith, um, you, will, uh, you will see a lot of these 13k bases starting to resurface. So having the ability to go from 9 to, four, uh, 9 to 13 or from 10 to 14 is actually quite vital, um, especially moving into the future as well. So don't underestimate it. There's a, there's a reason why I'm playing more. Um, I recommend more Golden Anglets than Hatred Chaos. Um, even though right now maybe Hatred Chaos is, is could you can argue it's it's slightly better. Um, I still think that um, the Golden Anglet has has more long term value. Uh, all right, so we're just gonna go break ride. Fortunately here, we will have to discard two um, two beast deities. So not the best showcase of the Wombo combo, but we will still have um, five attacks I think. Let's see, which one do I want? Obviously, we want the Golden Anglet. We're gonna call it here. And uh, I suppose we are just going to lock the Mirayo. All right, let's battle. We're gonna swing rear to rear. Boosting with, boosting and hitting Vanguard is, is, is okay as well. Draw trigger. Allocate your triggers to the side because your vanguard's gonna get a boost anyways. Heal trigger, but it whiffs because we're at we're at five. We're restanding. We're drawing two. Let's swing, PG. Let's swing, restanding. We're hitting twenty-two. We need one trigger to guarantee that we get to six damage if our opponent has a PG here. Can we do it? Oh man, the sack. The sack is real. We call this success. Alright, Golden Anglet, 32k to the face. Win games, easy game. Good stuff. Alright, so 
that is basically it for the deck. Unfortunately, we couldn't showcase the 8 attack Wombo combo. But you can see there is a lot of potential. If we had that one extra swing, maybe we couldn't have hidden numbers, but we could still attack the rear guard. We could um, better hit our opponent's numbers to the face. We could push definitely more damage to our opponent's, uh, to our opponent's vanguard. And overall, the winning image is pretty straightforward. Set up your pieces, wombo combo, and seal off the game with a lot of attacks. So I hope you enjoyed this video. A little bit short, but let's just see how people react to a little shorter video. If you want to see more gameplay of Ethics Reverse, be sure to let me know down below. Maybe, uh, generally speaking, I do do one deck profile for each deck. And then if, you, if there's popular requests people want to see more, we will do more of these decks um, in our streams later on. So thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And if you are watching this and you enjoyed it and you want to sack like me, Hit the like button, subscribe to see more, all that stuff, and comment down below any suggestions you have to for other players because I think that some people are playing max speed and I see value in max speed, maybe not in this build, in my opinion. I I can see some people playing playing more Hatred Chaos, and I think Hatred, Hatred Chaos is a great card. 12k beater, you really can't go wrong with it. I know I definitely try the 10k because it's just more consistent with more beast dailies, right? I've seen DF playing Claydol Mechanic, and this card is quite popular. Um, but if you're not playing the Kirara, the Karn Blast issue isn't really that heavy. So that's why I'm not playing it, uh, and so on and so forth. So let me know down below what your thoughts of this list is. You know, if you enjoyed the video, let me know down below as well. And I guess that is it for this video. I will see you all soon. Bye.